vlog. Welcome to another work week vlog. Okay, you guys, I can't even lie because the sun goes down too early now, but it is 4 p.m. It's like towards the end of my work day, but it's still Monday and I'm still filming a whole entire week for you guys. So welcome back to the vlog. I just had such a busy morning slash day. I went to bed late, so I woke up a little later than I wanted to, but I went to Orange Theory this morning. I finished editing today's video this morning before work, Rush uploaded it and everything, and then just like immediately jumped to my desk to start work. I had a bunch of like same day deliverables that I had to go out today. So I just was very busy all day, even though I only had one meeting. Very chaotic beginning of the week, but this is a very exciting work week vlog because this is the last work week vlog of 2022. That is actually crazy. At the end of the video, when the week is over, I want to reflect on 2022 in terms of work. And that's going to be very juicy. So I hope you guys stick around until the very end. But I just cannot believe we're at the end of the year. We're not at the end of like my company's fiscal year, but we're at the end of the calendar year. And that is enough of a restart for me that I need. So I just want to take you guys along my week as I'm so excited that this is the last week of 2022 at work. And then you guys, I have a full like two and a half weeks off from my corporate job no thinking about work, no thinking about market research or CPA firms or anything. If you guys are new here, I do work internally at an accounting slash advisory firm. We work from home most of the time. I do think I'll go into the office once this week. And I think that's everything about me. I'm Jenna. I live here in Arlington with my boyfriend, Thomas. And yeah, welcome. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish my work day. Let me just pause, finish work, and I'll talk to you guys at the end of the day. But welcome back, it's a new week. guys here is how my to-do list is looking at the end of monday i got everything i needed to done it was a pretty busy day even though this is only three things this took me like legit all day and i have the things i need to do tomorrow so as long as i at least have one or two things to do for the next day then i feel pretty good about ending my current day so i have that set up and then i already have one thing for wednesday and thursday and then I'm sure this will get a lot longer because I don't know if you guys can see, but my last week's to-do list like went until like halfway through the whole page. So last week was really busy. This week will be, I think, a little less busy since this is my last week of work before break, but here's how the to-do list is looking. Something that I hope to do over break or at least like start it over break is make my own to-do list notepad because I just really wanna make one, you guys. I just feel like doing this layout of a to-do list really works for me. It's very simple, but very minimal. And I feel like I just keep making the same layout every single week. So now that I have that done, I can like design a notepad and it would be so fun for us to do it. I had a good day and now we will have a better day tomorrow. Something I also wanna do tomorrow morning with you guys is paint my nails. I did one layer of the Nourishing Elixir. This is from Lights Lacquer and this is their old packaging and their old branding, but this stuff is so good for making your nails feel a lot stronger. And I feel like it's a better base for nail polish too. I did put one layer of this on today, but I'm gonna paint my nails with actual nail polish, I think tomorrow during some type of break during the day because tonight I have my Christmas tree and I'm so excited. I have my Christmas tree. I have decor over there and I just can't wait to put everything up. That's going to be in a separate video for you guys, but we're going to do it probably tonight or tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure yet. Overall, I had a really good day at work. It wasn't very chill because I feel like I had a really busy day. Like I almost completely skipped lunch, but at least now I'm having like an actual well-cooked dinner and Thomas and I are gonna watch a movie during it and then maybe we'll decorate tonight or maybe we'll just like start decorating tonight, finish it tomorrow kind of thing. But that is how our Monday is going. Let's see how this is looking. Ooh. I think it's done, you wanna eat? But okay. that's where all my friends are. What do I do? Why is it so hard to find someone new so far away? All the days that I used to have someone right beside me. Now I can find in my phone screen It's tiring Just wanna feel something Only nights talking the pixels I don't go out, don't intermix with the crowd And I wonder why I'm sitting all alone Staring at my phone Or I just want a connection Is that so hard to ask for? I just want something that's real 
probably and just bump up the volume because Thomas is still sleeping. But it is nine o'clock, I'm gonna sign on. I had a really nice morning going to Orange Theory. I power walked today and I'm determined to have a productive day. So let's have a good day together and let's have a good Tuesday. I feel like I'm wearing something actually kind of different for the first time. I haven't worn these shorts in a while, but these are from Halara. I really like these because they're like double lined and they kind of flare out a little bit. They look really cute. And then I'm wearing my Set Active. This is, I forget what color this is, but this is a Set Active long sleeve basic and I love it. And I just feel like the color comp is really cute. I am gonna start work. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but let's log on. At least I did like my log off routine yesterday. So at least that's good. <laughs> This way, I don't have to wash away the pain with lick of courage, lick, lick of courage. I lick the scourge, I lick, lick the scourge now. I'm starting to think it doesn't have to be this way. I don't have to wash the way the pain with lick of courage, lick, lick of courage. I lick the scourge, lick, lick the scourge. I, you know what? right now we finished eating lunch and while i'm still on my lunch break i'm going to try making this yogurt bark because i saw this on tiktok honestly this yogurt is just like gonna go bad soon if i don't have it it's supposed to be really easy you're just supposed to take some yogurt i have plain non-fat yogurt and you guys know how i feel about the taste of it, it doesn't taste very good but what the recipes all call for like on tiktok it's really really easy you just do plain greek yogurt with some honey to sweeten it up so we're gonna do that I'm kind of just eyeballing it because I feel like it won't taste that bad once it's frozen. So the honey is just kind of like a natural sweetener, but you don't really need to measure anything out. And I feel like I've seen a lot of different recipes for this, but I'm just going to make a fruit based one. I've seen like a cookies and cream one, a peanut butter one. But all we're going to do is we're going to take a baking sheet with some parchment paper on top. And then we're just going to spread out the yogurt like so and then try to smooth it out as much as possible kind of like this and then all we really have to do after that is just add some fruit so i'm going to do some raspberries and just kind of like throw them around blueberries and strawberries and then some say that you can add granola too i'm not going to just because i want this to be like only fruit and yogurt but let's just see how it tastes when we put it in the freezer for a couple of hours okay Here's how it looks. Okay, <gasps> perfect, it fits right there. We're just gonna put this in the freezer for maybe like three or so hours and then I will show you guys how it looks. But I'm really excited, I hope this tastes good. It is around one o'clock right now. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours when I'm taking it out of the freezer and kind of like towards the end of my day. But so far I'm having a pretty chill day. I only had one meeting and yeah. It's just a chill day. I love the fact that this is like a quiet week before the beginning of my holiday break. I had a project due last week and something due yesterday. But besides that, it should be pretty simple and pretty chill, pretty quiet. That's kind of all I can ask for. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ooh, I think it's ready. Okay, we're gonna do this here because I'm in the middle of decorating. But here's how the yogurt bark turned out. Hi guys, it is 4.30 right now. I am taking a break. It's been three hours. Here's how the yogurt bark looks. Should we try it? I feel like it's like frosted. Well, let's just try it. What they said to do was to put the parchment paper just on like a cutting board and then cut your pieces. So let's try it. I hope this tastes good. Not quite sure. I rate this like a six out of 10. It's kind of messy, but I feel like if I keep it in the freezer any longer, it's actually gonna have like freezer burn, but the fresh fruit is good. Mm. I don't know. This, this was a little disappointing. <laughs> it's so cold. And yogurt, yeah, it's like yogurt bark. Did you bake it? No, I put, I put it in the freezer, it's kind of messy. Do you yeah. like it? Whoever. <laughs> It was a TikTok recipe. I mean, it's not bad, but whoever compares this to 
peppermint bark? No, no one compared this to peppermint bark. Uh, okay. They're just calling it yogurt bark. I don't know. I would never crave this. <laughs> And I'm gonna finish decorating, so I'll see you guys like after that whole video is done filming. I might just get off work like 15 minutes early and go to Home Goods because I really want to do that. Fail. What is it? Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. If you guys can notice, you guys look. We put the tree up and we did all of our holiday decorating last night. It was so much fun. I'm making a coffee right now for me and Thomas and I even brought out my holiday mug. I basically spent the whole afternoon and the whole evening decorating. I like went to Home Goods and Target, did the whole thing because once I started, I just couldn't stop. And then Thomas and I watched an episode of White Lotus as we ate dinner. That was my evening yesterday. So welcome to Wednesday. Look at the coffees. I made a coffee for me and Thomas. This is our pumpkin spice brown sugar sugar-free vanilla coffee and it's really good i've talked about this like so many times in my last previous vlogs but it's literally just coffee some frothed warmed up brown sugar oat milk creamer and pumpkin spice topping that's it look at how pretty it is okay this is for thomas you're welcome we have our holiday candle out and everything and i'm just so happy i feel like the tree looks so nice oh my gosh i love this tree and instead of a star i decided to put this huge bow that we had it was literally in my hair last night but then once i took it out i was like wait i can put this on a tree so that's our star this year it's a bow <laughs> i'll talk to you guys in a little bit but i don't have too too much to do today honestly so i'm just gonna try to work on some of my goals usually when my project mix is a little bit lighter then i actually have the time to work on goals so that's probably what i'm gonna work on for a lot of today i have another project i can start but that's not due until like january so i'm just gonna lean into the nice start of my holiday break also i went to orange theory this morning and it was really good this is my third day in a row going and i'm really glad that i power walked yesterday because i feel like i had the energy to run today i'm trying to figure out like what works best for me when it comes to going back to orange theory because i want to go often but I don't want to like overdo it so that I feel like I'm just like immovable for the rest of the day. I want to actually like have a morning workout and still move around for the rest of the day, like go on a walk if I want to, if I can. So I think if I go consecutive days, I'll go back and forth between running days and power walking days because it's a really intense workout otherwise. And I just don't want to feel like I'm like overdoing it so that I can still walk. So yeah, okay, that's it. Have a good day. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, but yeah, happy Wednesday. It is like 3.45 right now and I'm almost on my work day, kind of. I have one more meeting today and that's at 4.30. And since I have like 45 minutes until then, I think I'm gonna walk just because I've been sitting like all day since Orange Theory, like I haven't even really moved around much today. So yeah, for the sake of moving around and using my walking pad, which I love so much, let's walk for the rest of the day. But I'm having a very chill day, very chill week overall. I think I'm gonna go into the office tomorrow just because one of my friends is probably gonna go in and it'll be really nice to see her before our holiday break because we're both off for two weeks. I think that'll be a good change of pace because especially on slow weeks, I feel like going to the office is just always good and to have the flexibility to choose whenever we want to go. Like if there's a week where I don't want to go at all, then I don't have to. But if there's a week that I do want to go, it's usually on a Thursday or a Tuesday, usually Thursdays right now. And that's probably what I'll do this week. So that's tomorrow though. Let's end this day as best we can. I usually like to do my walking pad in the afternoon when I'm like really trying to end the day. Otherwise, like I'll just keep looking at the clock, checking my phone every five minutes. But if I'm walking, I'm already doing something. So the time just goes by a lot faster and I can actually get a lot more work done when I'm walking too. So yeah. This walking pad is from Amazon and it is literally my Lord and Savior, this walking pad. And then it's really easy. I just plug it in, turn it on, and then it'll show the word rest, which is how I know it's on. And then we'll walk. This is always linked in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys check that out. It has my entire work from home set up, including my keyboard, my mouse, 
mouse pad, all the good stuff. And I always use my ankle band too. This is more of like a tedious thing just because if I'm working and walking and my watch is on my wrist, it won't track the steps and like, you have to track your steps. So I'm just going to put this on my ankle and then we'll be off. guys i am not quite done editing this video for tomorrow but i'm like almost done i don't really only have to add text in like two more places and then it'll be done honestly this took a little bit longer than i expected to edit but i think i was just having too much fun with like the decorating and the text and stuff i'm so tired and it's only like 9 30 but i'm just gonna try to go to sleep now so that i can again get back to like my early sleeping routine even though i'm about to be on break where i'm just gonna sleep late and i know it but I find that I have a better workout in the mornings too when I like actually get in between seven and eight hours of sleep. So I'm gonna really try to prioritize that because I have Orange Theory again tomorrow. My like eyes hurt. I feel like I've been staring at the screen just like all day, all night. So I'm gonna go to sleep, but work was chill. My meeting ended like right at 5.30. So I logged off like immediately afterwards, had dinner, watched Singles Inferno because we did start that. I like really want to just binge watch it because there's two episodes, but we can't. Like we have things that we need to do. So I went to edit and now I'm gonna go to sleep. And Thomas is studying too. So okay, well I need to like close my eyes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thursday, I just got back from Orange Theory and this morning was the 2,000 meter benchmark row. Oh my god, you guys, I forgot how hard that was. Like 2,000 meters on the rower, no stopping as fast as you can. That's actually a really long time. I finished it in 7 minutes and 34 seconds, which is I think around the same time that I had in 2020. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm just really glad that's over. I'm like really, really tired. It is like so gloomy out. I turned on my Christmas tree right away. And I think I'm not gonna go to the office. Me and my friend were both kind of like, actually, the weather kind of sucks. Let's not go in until like the afternoon. And then we're gonna go to the mall after work and it'll just be very nice. A very good Thursday. Also, this workout top is new. I'll link it below for you guys, but it's from Amazon and it came in a pack of three. You guys, these are like very, very soft, but like very sweat wicking shirts. I really like them because I really wanted like crop tops for Orange Theory because when I was going to solid core and when I was just working out at the gym, I would just work out in like a sports bra and leggings, but I don't like doing that at Orange Theory. I just don't, it's too aggressive. So I got these from Amazon and I really like them. They're like the perfect cropped length. I need to start work so that I can have a productive day before I go to the office, finish off my day there, and then I'll see you guys later, but good morning. Oh my god, you guys, I have had such a productive morning. I am gonna take a break now to get ready for the office. Go to the office by like maybe one and finish my day there, a little half day at the office. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I was going like every single day to the office? To be honest, that's when I was extremely stressed with my job. So working from home just means that I have been having a better time at work, a little less stressed. So yeah, that's why I've been home more, but I'm really excited to see my friend, especially because we're both taking a holiday break starting this Friday. So I'm really excited to see her so that I can see her before I go. And let's get ready. An explanation, baby. Don't I can't 
사랑해 준적 있었니 말해줘 baby 네가 없더라도 난잘 살고 있다고 라고 말하지만 사실 널 못잊어 벌써 2년 전에 이별이었지만 Okay you guys, I feel like this is good enough. It's not perfect, but I like, you know, if I wanted to make it perfect, I would wet my hair and everything. And I would like actually make sure it's perfect, but I feel like this is good enough. If it, honestly, it's like raining and stuff anyways. If my hair gets gross, I'm just gonna put it up in a ponytail. And that's that. So let's go to the office. At least I'm wearing this like cute green checkered sweater. This is really old from BP. I actually got this last year. This is my finished outfit. Let's go to the office. I'm gonna work a little bit, work for the afternoon, go to the mall, and I'll see you guys after work. Very good day. Thursday is the best freaking day ever. It's 6.24. I went to Oaken for it and I got this for Thomas. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Isn't it so nice? Dang, it was on sale. Try it on now. Okay, okay ma'am. <laughs> you guys, I love Oakenfort. It's literally the best store in the whole world. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Ooh, it looks so good on you, Thomas. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I got two other things from Oakenfort. These were not on sale. But I'm literally not kidding you guys. All of my trousers that I've gotten from the hem broke off from the Abercrombie trousers, my Aritzia trousers need to be hemmed, which is just like extra money. So I kind of regret getting the Aritzia effortless pants if I'm being honest. I just wish I waited for the short size because I got the regular length and it's literally just like sitting at my home home in Maryland, like it's not even here. So these are such better prices. And I'm telling you guys, if you're 5'3 or below, like me, I'm 5'3, these trousers from Oakenfort, you can get 10% off your first order. So they're $80, which is basically the price of the Abercrombie ones. If anything cheaper, and these are such good quality, you guys. I got black trousers that have a button and then I got dark gray slash greenish trousers that are like, there's no button, it's like the clasp. And this one had like more unique pleating in the front. And you guys, they just look so good. They fit so well. They're so high quality. I love Oakenfort. I love Oakenfort. And then I got Thomas that jacket. Like this trench coat is from Oakenfort. I am just an Oakenfort stan. The only hard thing I think about Oakenfort is that if there's no store near you, you have to like hope that they're available to ship because not everything is available to ship. But if it is, please try it out. They have such good stuff. It's like Aritzia quality for like Abercrombie prices and it's better quality than Abercrombie. Does that make sense? Try open for it. Anyways, I had a really good day. It was nice having like a half day in the office just cause it didn't feel that long. I was able to still get some work done. I had a good day. And then I went to happy hour with my friend Emily and it was just very nice. We went shopping together and she got a dress. I got these other things. And it was a good day. So I'm really hungry though. I had like a small appetizer and that just made me like actually hungry for like real dinner. So I think I'm going to make some spaghetti because Thomas's mom was really sweet to drop off some spaghetti sauce. So I'm just going to cook some noodles, cook up some extra veggies and then that will be dinner. And then we're probably just gonna edit for the rest of the night because I have nothing else planned today. And that sounds really nice. We'll sleep early. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have one more day until my holiday break and I'm so, I'm so excited. Also, we're gonna do this now before I forget, but you guys, my nail broke. Do you see that? This is like the worst type of nail breaking. It's like right in the corner. It's like above the nail. Once I realized I didn't paint my nails Tuesday morning, like I said for you guys, I have a birthday party this weekend on Saturday. So I was like, I should just wait until the end of the week so that I can have like freshly done nails for the weekend. But then this nail broke. So I'm really sad. I'm gonna have to cut it off and then it's just gonna look stupid but it's fine. It like almost was snagging on a couple of things today. And I was like, I just need to cut it. Like I just need to make it shorter. So say goodbye to these like perfect nails. This one's gonna be short, but the rest will be nice. So yeah. Okay, well, I'm actually not gonna show you this cause it's kind of gross. So that's all, but we will paint our nails tomorrow. You guys, we're gonna end off the whole work week doing my nails, but that's the update on my nails. I realized when I was editing that I didn't even like do my nails Tuesday morning, like I said, but oh, tragic. Three, I know you needed me, I needed you more. When did this love become about?
keeping score, I don't know But I'm trying to figure this out on my own Take me to paradise and call me back home Make me feel young again as I'm growing old There's some things you can't control But I think I know a thing or two about love, 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 love The steal it when you need it And the give it when you don't Good morning guys It is like 7.30 right now And I did not go to Orange State this morning I was just so tired I mean, as you guys saw, I like didn't even do anything after I came home last night. I like wanted to edit, I wanted to be productive, but I just literally was stuck on my couch like for basically the remainder of the night. And so I went to sleep early so that I can have like a good amount of rest for today. And today is Friday. Today is my very last day before my holiday break. And you guys, I'm so grateful that I've had such a chill week at work. I debated calling this like a week in my life, not a work week, because I feel like I'm just not talking about work so much or showing you me working so much, but I think I am. I think I actually am showing you me working. I feel like since the majority of my work week vlogs this year have been like deadline week, stress and all this stuff, like I was feeling like my vlog this week, especially before holiday break, like had to be something like that. Maybe I should just lean into the fact that I'm having like a very chill, very good week before my break starts. I feel like oftentimes before big PTO breaks, we're so, so busy trying to get stuff in. But with my project mix, with all of my research, it, my biggest project before break was actually due like in the beginning of the week or like kind of the end of last week. So I've just been really fortunate to have like a very chill week. I'm just like setting things up for next year, making sure everything's in a good place, working on my goals and like my professional development that I feel like because of all the deadline weeks this year, I just haven't been able to really focus on. So I'm just going to lean into it. That is such a blessing. And yeah, happy Friday. I'm just finishing up my morning skincare. I feel like I haven't even shown you guys my skincare in a while, but I use this in the morning, maybe like three or four times a week. This is the Coco Kind Turmeric Illuminating Solution and it's a really good natural exfoliant. You just use like four or so drops and then pat it in your face. And then my morning moisturizer is the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Cream with Green Tea Seed. This stuff is really good. I usually use this at night during like the summer for more hydration, but since it's winter and it's a lot drier lately, I've been using this during the day. And then my nighttime moisturizer is a little bit heavier, even more moisturizing than this one, and it's the Coco Kind Resurrection Polypeptide Cream. This stuff is so good. If you guys need a good moisturizer, if you have really dry skin, or if just like winter is not good to your skin, this is so good. It's so, 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 so good. That's my moisturizer situation. And now I'm all ready for the day. I just need to change. Instead of going to Orange Theory today, I'm actually going to Solid Core at like 10. So I'm gonna start work a little bit early just so that I don't have to get off late when I take my break for Solid Core since I'm not going before work today. And yeah, it'll be a very good day. I'm so excited. All I want is holiday break, you guys. I want you to know how I feel. Though I may say it, I just think that I might have to spell it out for you. So listen here. I want this all to be. realistic with you and I straight up and working from the couch today and I don't care it is my last day before break all I have to do is just like tie some bows on things and then I'm done so I just don't really feel the need to be at my desk like I'm not really that stressed I can like ease into the break on the couch doing my work and that's like the beauty of working from home too right like having the flexibility to work from your couch and still get your stuff done because honestly sometimes you just don't need the rigidity of a work from home desk setup if you don't have to like it's friday and i'm chilling <laughs> so i'm finishing up my day right now 
truthfully, it's like almost four o'clock. So as you guys can see, like the sun is starting to go down and stuff. So I just need to finish up this day. This vlog is also very long, but that's just also because I did like a full five days and I'm not ashamed of it. This is a full work week in my life and I'm honestly really happy with how I was able to show you guys my life outside of work this week. And especially like me ending off these work week vlogs in a good place, just mentally makes me feel really good. But it's been a really good day. It's been a good week. Solid core was very good. It was very hard and I'm ready for this break. So I'm gonna finish up my day I'll log off and I'll talk to you guys soon, but we're almost there. Okay, you guys, it is 5.05 .05 and I am done with work. Oh my God, I'm so happy I'm done. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this work week vlog. I had so much fun filming it, honestly, and it was such a breath of fresh air because it's not your typical work week vlog for me. Like I wasn't so stressed this time and there was no deadline. And I was just kind of going through a regular week. Ending off the year like that, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna end off this video of me doing my nails and then we're just gonna cruise into the new year. I just can't wait to have over two weeks off. I will come back, of course, filming my whole entire first work week of 2023 with you guys. So stay tuned. But also the vlogs are still gonna happen. Like I'm not really taking a break. I'm, I might take like one video off at the very, very end of the year, but you guys are still gonna see videos for me. They're just not gonna be work week vlogs. They're just gonna be life vlogs, PTO vlogs, vacation vlogs. I'm going to Vegas with my family. So there's a lot to come. Don't worry. Like the content is not over this year. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And stick around until the end if you want to see my nails. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, you can see already. Bye.